Hey guys and welcome back to the practical and map guide. Today we are going to cover the first subtopic which is target specification. There are a few preparations that you must do so that we can do this practical in a very smooth way. First thing is obviously to run your Kali Linux or Parrot operating system in the background. I already started Parrot operating system in the background and if you have Metasploitable 2, then you can also start Metasploitable 2 because we can practice Nmap scans on this Metasploitable 2 device as operating system as well. Well, uh, let me go back to the slide. So these two steps are absolutely, I mean, the first one is absolutely necessary, which is Parrot operating system. But the second point uh, where I mentioned Metasploitable 2, well, it's not absolutely necessary, but it would actually give you an edge if you already have Metasploitable 2 installed in your system. Well, if you don't have, then you can follow my ethical hacking course. I have mentioned how to install Metasploitable 2 into your system. Well, if you don't have Metasploitable 2, don't worry. You can practice your uh, Nmap scans on a website known as scanme.nmap.org. So let's begin. The first one is to always use the manual of Nmap. It's always a great idea to go through the manual to learn how to use Nmap. So let's just do that, shall we? First of all, go to your terminal and make sure that you run as an root. Well, as an administrator, which is root. Let me zoom that this a bit. So let's run it as an administrator. Now let's run nmap. First one we need to do was look at the manual of nmap. So type man nmap and hit enter. This is going to show you the man nmap reference guide. You can hit enter to scroll through this thing or press Q to quit. Well, read through this thing and read through this reference guide and make a note of some stuff you need which you think are absolutely good. Well, either way, I'm going to cover some of the important flags. Flags are these hyphen symbol um, letters, as you can see. Uh, before some letters, there's a hyphen symbol. These are called flags or option arguments. So I have selected a few important option arguments, which I'm going to discuss in my videos. So you can stick with it or else you can also go through this manual and map reference guide. So that was the first point that we need to cover. Now we are going to learn the target specification. Okay, nmap takes anything except the option arguments, uh, which I which started with a hyphen sign. So anything other than this hyphen option arguments, nmap consider it as a target. You can either pass in the domain name, which may be like for example zbunker.in, or you can either pa or pass IP addresses, which is 10.0.2.1. All right. If you are passing the domain name, then the domain name is being first resolved by the nmap and whatever IP address that comes first, it is being used to scan. Suppose if zbunker.in resolves into like three IP addresses, then the first IP address is being used to perform the scanning. But if you want all the IP address to be included in included into the, into the scanning, then you have to use the hyphen hyphen resolve all option which is right over here. Let's just look this into the practical way. So this is the Nmap reference guide. Press Q to quit. Let me clear the screen. So let's just perform first scanning on our Metasploitable 2, shall we? Um, let's clear the screen. Oh, it's already clear. I'll type ifconfig to get, get to know the IP address. Well, you can perform the scan on scanme.nmap.org as well. It's already free. It's it's made for scanning by via nmap. So the IP address is 10.0.2.7. Got it. Let's go back to our Parrot operating system and then run nmap space 10.0.2.7. That's how you initiate a scan. You type nmap and then 10.0.2.7. If you don't mention any flags, then it will perform its default scanning, which which it, which are some certain flags it's already set by default which i'll discuss in the future in, in this slide means in the upcoming video so as soon as i hit enter it's gonna perform the scan and give me the result as you can see it was pretty quick and the first one says the host is up 0 0.013 seconds latency and then it's scanned all the port from 21 to 8180 and it also returned me the mac address service 
and the open ports and other 977 closed ports it scanned for the first thousand ports first thousand common ports and out of which 977 were closed okay now what if i type nmap zbunker dot in and hit enter well <laughs> my bad i have not connected to the internet let me connect it real quick okay let's begin what if i type nmap zbunker dot in zbunker dot in is a domain name and if i hit enter oh all right i think the network is not working my bad uh let me just rectify my network real quick and i'll be back so the network problem has been rectified let's begin where we stop shall we so what if we type nmap space zbunker dot in which is a domain name what what you're gonna expect and if i hit enter it's gonna start the scan for nmap i mean zbunker dot in well after the scan has completed it's showing me the result let's just read through the report shall we it's written nmap scan report for zbunker dot in 104.21.66.37 but uh -uh, what is this written other addresses for zbunker.in has also been found they are 172.67.155.218 and this is the ipv6 ip address so why hasn't this one being scanned but only this ip address that's because well when nmap tried to perform dns resolution on zbunker.in it got all these ip addresses but it performed scan on the first ip address that it resolved to that is this particular IP address starting with 104. What if I wanted to scan through all the IP addresses? So I would perform, I would put in this flag minus minus resolve hyphen all. And now if I hit enter, it's going to scan through both this IP address and this IPv6 as well. Well, I don't think so this IPv6 will yield you any result because maybe this IPv6 would be down. But you might get scans for these two IP addresses. I'm damn sure about that. So let's just wait it out, shall we? Well, as you can see, I got two reports now. Now, if you read through the report, um, other addresses for zbunker.in is found. That is this, as I mentioned earlier, the IPv6 address, it's not scanned. Well, maybe because it's not reachable. Well, I got this IP address 104 and its report is right over here. And then I scanned for this particular IP address, which also res resolved to zbunker.in and I got this particular IP address. So that's what resolve all does. It's gonna scan for all the IP address that nmap will find when it performs a DNS resolution. Else it will, it will only scan the first IP address that it resolves to. Let's get back to the PowerPoint. Now, this is how you scan a single target. You either give an IP address, as I gave an IP address of my Metasploitable 2, or you can give the domain name. Well, you know the reason when you what happens when you give the domain name. It's gonna it's gonna scan only the first IP address it resolves to. And if you want to scan all the IP address, then you have to perform which flag? Yes, the minus minus resolve hyphen all flag. Now, add verbose for more information about the scan. Yeah, if you add this minus V or hyphen V flag, it's going to give you more information about the scan. Let's just go and try it out, shall we? Let me clear the screen. Now, if I scan for, let's just scan our particular, uh, what do you call the... The, this this IP address, what do you call? Our Metasploitable 2 Linux machine, vulnerable machine. The IP address is 10.0.2.7. So let's just scan for it. Let's type the IP address. And now just let's just hit enter. See, it just gave you the uh, scan result right away. Remember, the scan results will only appear in your screen after the scan is over. Else, it will first complete the scan and then it will give you the results but what if you want to see what nmap has found till or what nmap has scanned till yet 
what are you gonna do for that we will pass the minus v flag it's going to show you what all it has can till now and then it will give you the result see now it has more information about this scan as you can see comparing with the previous and this one it has more information like scanning 10.0.2.7 only one port then completing the arp ping scan then there are more discovered open port which was not there in when you removed the minus v flag and then well this report as well now if you add minus vv it's gonna give you more information about uh, rather than the minus v flag so what if i hit enter it's gonna give you much more information well as you cannot distinguish it in here but if you're performing a very big scan that's gonna take a lot of time like if i'm going to do for zbunga.in it's going to give you much more information let me do z for zbunga.in now if i hit enter it's gonna give you more information see as you can see it's as it is as it is discovering the open ports it's go, it's writing it all right over here and if there is any error it's going to mention the error here as well if you don't perform the my hyphen v v flag if you don't type it in then it won't mention the error so that's a great advantage of using hyphen vv and i recommend to always use hyphen vv whenever you are performing the scan so let's go back to the ppt so v stands for verbose and vv stands for very verbose just for your information now what if i wanted to scan multiple targets well you can pass the arguments like this nmap space the ip address one then the second ip address then the third ip address and so on you can even combine ip address with the domain name as well so you can try it on your own or i can show it real quick yeah let's just do it shall we so let's just type nmap 10.0.2.7 which is our metas variable 2 and then zbunker.in and now if i hit enter it has first scanned for 10.0.2.7 and it gave me the output now and then it has scanned for zbunker.in and then it has given me the output yeah let's go back to the ppt now what if you wanted to scan a range of targets well if you wanted to scan a range of target from 10.0.2.1 to 10.0.2.7 and if you want to identify whether some host is alive then this is a really great way to do it so type nmap space 10.0.2.1 then hyphen 7 then it will scan for all the ip address in between this range that is 10.0.2.1 then 10.0.2.2 on and on and on, on, on till 10.0.2.7 so if i do nmap space 10.0.2.1 hyphen 7 and let's do minus vv hyphen vv and if i hit enter it's gonna scan for 10.2.2.1 then 2 then 3 then 4 all the way up to 7 and it's going to give you the results to the screen see these extra informations are only available when you perform when you type in the hyphen vv flag see completed scene still scan against 10.0.2.3 in 0 0.70 seconds so it's a great idea to actually use it's a great practice to actually use this hyphen vv flag well i'll recommend you always use it whenever you are performing the scan okay let's go back well you can even scan an entire subnet using this asterisk which is known as the wild card you can always use that and if you have this idea about subnets well you can actually use this wild card to do so well considering the subnet if you know the cidr notation as well then you can perform the cidr you can pass in the cidr notation and it will scan the range in this case it will scan from 10.0.2.0 up to 10.0.2.255 okay now nmap can also take ip addresses from a file and inside that file if the ip addresses are space separated or those ip addresses are on a new line each ip address on a new line then nmap will actually take those ip addresses and then scan individually one by one so let's just do that let's i have already created a file known as ips as you can see i created a file ips and then it has three ip addresses 10.0.2.7 then zbunker.in and then scanme.nmap.org and i'm going to pass this file to nmap 
So I'm typing nmap space hyphen il, which is a flag. Then I'm going to pass the file name, which is ips, then hyphen vv. And if I hit enter, now it's going to scan all the IP addresses that are present that I put inside that file. So uh, if I if we go to the report, what we see here. Okay, so first it is scanning for 10.0.2.7, which is the first IP address we passed. So this is the report for 10.0.2.7. And yeah, there you go. The report for 10.0.2.7. So many open ports, as you can see, it's it's really an intentionally made vulnerable Linux machine. That is the reason why you see so much open ports. And then what we what do we see here? this is the i i mean this is the scan report for 45.33.32.156 maybe it is i don't know it has to be um what did we pass it has to be scanme.nmap.org because i know for sure zbunker has an ip address of 104.21.66.37 all right so that's how you okay it's good it's taking a little bit of time i'm going to cancel it by pressing Control c you can cancel the scan so that's how you pass a file and nmap will scan take each ip address from either it has to be it has to be space separated or each ip address should be on a new line so nmap will take each ip address and perform scan on it now you can also exclude targets by typing nmap then hyphen hyphen exclude then the host one which is an ip address host two which is another ip address etc well you can also pass in a file just like we did earlier and it will exclude those targets as well it's basically very useful if you're scanning a range of targets suppose if you're scanning 10.0.2.1 all the way up to 10.0.2.255 and you want to exclude a particular target because you know either you don't want to perform scan on that particular host or you know that the host is up all right so for that you can exclude the target and for that particular usage we are going to use this particular flag hyphen hyphen exclude so that was it folks this video will now end the target specification from the next video onwards we are going to perform the host discovery this is going to be a really really awesome topic so see you on the next side